in the previous session we have seen the basics of cmm concept the uh, types of cmm few applications of cmm and components now let us see the probes the measurement process and few applications there are two kinds of probes typically seen in cmm one kind of probes are called as contact kind of probes another kind of probes are called as non contact kind of probes contact type of probes means the probe comes in contact physically with the workpiece for measurement as you see here whereas uh, whereas the non contact uh, probes that will not come in physically contact with the workpiece to take the coordinate values when in contact probes when it touches in contact with the workpiece it will take the coordinate of the center point at the moment of touching on the workpiece let us see one example one kind of a contact type probe so typically called as touch trigger probe or ttp in short touch trigger probe means you know when the stylus comes in contact with the workpiece during the hitting process though it is a mild contact with the workpiece there is uh, that this uh, stylus will be tilted so uh, when it is detached after after measurement when it is taken back this stylus should go back to the position also touch trigger probe means the coordinate value at the moment of touching will be taken by the instrument and that's why it is called as touch trigger that means the measurement is triggered at the moment of touching they use a particular kind of probe the category of probes are called as a null probe that means when even if it is deflected during the measurement process the probe will always be brought back to the center position that is the position where it is avoided and this is done by checking by means of wheatstone bridge arrangement so the error because of a, a, a residual stress or positioning will not be happening in the case of null props let us see little more detail about touch trigger probe its construction and its working touch trigger probes are electromechanical device that has ability to, to return the stylus ball to the same repeatable position followed after any deflection this is a stylus that will come back to the original position and that is called as null positioning in touch trigger probes there are certain elements called as pivotal plate here that is spring loaded by an open coil spring here from the top and the pivotal plates are supported on three location pivots and where these are supported on ball points on bearings here so what happens is when the work the, uh, this stylus comes in contact with the workpiece this will be tilted while it is tilted what happens is one of the contacts of this bearing will be lost based on the direction of movement of the stylus at that moment the dimension of the three dimensional space or the coordinate of the three dimensional space is taken by the system and that will be transferred to the controller for uh, for the computation after this trigger event the stylus ball will be removed from contact with the surface and the arrangement is such that it will be brought back to the repeatable zero position so that the next triggering or the next contacting can be done i have told you that the contact probes where the workpiece is coming in contact we have seen a test trigger probe there is one more example for contact kind of probe that is continuous probe in test trigger probe we can take points one by one that is one if you hit on surface it will take one point it will hit on another point it will take another point whereas continuous probe will be taking continuous measurement when it is traced over the surface so while test trigger probes gather discrete points on surface scanning systems that is the continuous probes acquire vast quantity of surface data provides a clear picture of form and shape of the workpiece even a complex workpiece the profile can be traced by a continuous probe this images showing 
some uh, physical appearance of different kind of stylus. These are the simple normal stylus and uh, stylus having a, a ball at the tip, right? This is a contact point, and there are star kind of uh, props also used. This is an indexable prop. That is, this prop can be uh, tilted uh, uh, for measurement, and we can see the measurement uh, positioning here from this. The typical contact prop material here, the red material that you see here is a ruby. Ruby is typically used for many reasons. One is ruby is a gem material which is really hard, typically wear resistant. And dimension stability of the ruby for over a wide range of temperature is also very good. And these are the reasons why a ruby is used. Let us see a few examples of non-contact type of prop where the prop do not come in contact with workpiece, but it will take the measurement. How it is done, you see, instead of take, touching it by using CCD camera, the image of the surface or the object to be measured can be grabbed to a screen. On the screen, we can uh, mark the dimensions or get the dimensions. This is another prop, which is a laser prop. By means of laser, the distance is traced and the measurement is done with this arrangement. Now let us see how the measurement process is happening with CMM. We have to remember that all the CMMs are performing the measurements based on the sequence that we see here. The first measurement process that we have to do is the probe qualification. I have told you probe qualification is the process of identifying the dimensions of the touch surface or sphere, contact sphere of a stylus. This is spherical in shape and it will have certain dimensions and in order to know the dimensions of the stylus, what is done is the stylus will be brought to near to the qualifying sphere that is placed on the table, somewhere on the table on the CMM surface and minimum five points are picked like one, two, three, four on the back side and on the top so that the five coordinate points are taken by the system. You remember that when each point is touched, the center point of these spheres, this sphere is taken by the system. So the system knows the information about the qualifying sphere, that is the dimensions for a city error, etc. So once it is touched, getting this coordinate point, the system already know what is the dimension here. So this radius can be computed by the system. Similarly, this radius can be computed when the center point and the disk a point on the sphere is known. Similarly, for all the test points, the radial distance for this sphere, this contact sphere will be taken by the system and based on the computation and this data, the system will be arriving to the value of what is the radius of this sphere that is stylus tip and what is the sphericity error in this tip. That information is further used by the system for arriving at the dimension of work pieces further. So once prop qualification is the process of identifying the dimensions and form error of the probe that we are going to do the measurement. Second process is define the corresponding ideal form feature. That is, if you want to measure the uh, radius of uh, an object, we have to convey to the machine that we are going to measure the radius of curvature of a circle so that when we touch many points on the on three-dimensional space, it will fit those points to a circular equation for the circle and the, the circle will be fit and based on the circle equation, it will compute the values. Now the latest CMMs, these are very intelligent uh, and these are using very intelligent software such that you need not have to define what is the ideal form that are, is to be measured. By seeing the configuration of picking itself, the system will be arriving to what is a form feature that we are going to measure. So once we define the form feature, next point is pick point or coordinates on the object. Say if you want to check the uh, measure the length of this cuboid piece, bring the uh, uh, stylus and touch the, the stylus on these three minimum three points on this plane on the cube. Similarly, again define three points on this plane thus define this plane initially then define this plane save it in uh, memory and with this information 
if you ask for giving the length it will compute the length between the surfaces so uh, I'll, I'll explain once again if, if you know two uh, points in three-dimensional space say x y x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 in the three-dimensional space and uh, we have equation like this to compute what is the length between the points similar equations are used in cmm to compute distances to compute radius to compute any other parameter so what happens is when we pick the points it will fit the points to ideal form and it uses equations and the computer is done based on the system software and uh, required values will be given even if you want a length it will give it the length if you want to get the uh, parallelism squareness anything anything everything can be computed based on the equation given in the software so the beauty is that both dimensional measurement as well as form measurement can be simultaneously obtained by just picking the points coordinate points in three-dimensional space uh, by in CMM. I would like to tell you about another concept in CMM measurement that is called as compensated measurement and non-compensated measurement. See, I'll give you examples of compensated measurement. See, if we want to measure the length of this cuboid, I have told you that we have to define a plane like this by picking points here and pick, pick, picking points here, we are defining the plane. Now, we know that when the system uh, uh, touches on the surface actually we want the distance between this surface and this surface but what we get this surface okay be between this surface but what we get is the center point the system what takes is the center point of this point center point of this center point of this and center point of this so the distance that will be computed by the system will be originally like this this distance so to get the actual distance what should be done is that after getting this length this radius should be reduced from this side radius should be reduced from this side so we have to perform a compensation in this that is we have to perform a radius compensation in this that is the radius of the sphere on one side and the other side that is one diameter distance should be reduced from uh, the actual computation so that the this this required length will be obtained by the system. So this method used in the uh, 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 done in the CMM where the dimension of the, uh, the radius of uh, the contact sphere is considered to get the actual dimension is called as compensated measurement. This is another example for compensated measurement. Suppose if you want to measure the diameter of this or radius of curvature of this, what actually get we get by picking the point on the circumference of the circle is the radius of this circle that you see in the dotted line. You know, to get the diameter of the actual circle, the radius should be uh, reduced from this. So, here also you are reducing the diameter of the spherical surface uh, so that the actual radius is obtained. Uh, okay. Here also, uh, the compensation done in two different directions. That's very interesting. You see here, that is, if you th say this is a, a, a tube having uh, in inner side it's vacuum uh, it's uh, uh, no material there is material uh, this uh, vacuum here so if the uh, diameter of this cylinder and this cylinder are to be taken what should be done is conventionally as we perform the measurement pick many points on the circumference of the cylinder so that this radius can be obtained by reducing the radius of the circle fit by the system but here the radius should be reduced whereas in this case if you want to check uh, get the diameter of the inner circle what you have to do is you have to in, uh, you are picking the points that is this center point this center point so, uh, this 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 center point these three center points are taken minimum and a circle is fit like this through this but the radius this is a circle that is fit but in order to get the actual circle the actual this this circle what should be done is with this circle the radius should be added that means compensation should be done in the positive direction here the compensation is done in the negative direction so depending on the direction of measurement compensation should also be done and in all the cases compensation need not be done that's if compensation need not be done to get a required measurement is called as non-compensated measurement an example is here 
see if you have a workpiece like this and if you are interested to get the angle between the surfaces you can define this plane you can define this plane and angle between the plane this angle is same as that of the actual angle in this case you don't have to worry about the compensation should be done in this direction similarly if you want to measure the distance between the cent centers here there is one center here there is another center here so for that you have to define this circle initially and define this circle initially and when we get the uh, distance between the circle even if the circle is bigger or smaller no, no, if you are, even if you are picking at the uh, inner side the center of the inner circle and the actual circle are same so not do not have to worry about this that is for center measurement compensation need not be done so compensated measurement means axial measurement is obtained by considering the dimension of the probe and the dimension of the probe is compensated to get the axial measurement whereas non compensated measurements where we need not have to consider the dimension of the probe so for probe compensation need not be done some features of uh, non contact cmm in non contact cmm the image taken by the ccd will be displayed on a computer screen where you can place uh, the uh, the cursors and it uh, by uh, suitable image processing you can get the dimension uh, here the problems are when we perform the measurement the lighting should be good such that the shadow should be eliminated shadow should not happen in the image if there is shadow in the image that can lead to further wrong measurement focusing on inclined surface or what we for the measurement is also a problem we know that if surface is inclined focusing can be different on different surfaces or different heights depending on the distance between the is the lens and the surface so in such cases the measurement with non contact cmm is difficult difficult rather than difficult there, there can be error in the measurement and is most of the time this measurement will be done manually by seeing the image on this so that can co lead to manual error also so with this previous discussion of this this session let us again have a need to have a review let us see few questions try if you can give answer for these questions you know what is meant by touch trigger probe can you provide few examples of non contact kind of probes what is meant by null probe what is meant by probe qualification what are the steps involved in measurement with cmm okay if you are able to answer these questions well we can go ahead otherwise please go back and verify and learn it and come back let us proceed after that now another topic that is beyond our syllabus said as per the university curriculum that is errors in cmm just for your information we say that you know the cmm is a very accurate instrument uh, having least count of even 0.1 micron so is there any error in measurement obviously yes any instrument will have error so what are the kinds of error that can happen in cmm there are two kinds of errors uh when we categorize it one is spatial errors errors in the measured position or that can be computational errors also special errors are due to the error in guide base in the scale in the prop system error in the qualification sphere etc etc error can happen because of the environment magnitude and direction of the probing force sometimes we may hit the warp surface of the probe un with uncontrolled force it should have a control force but sometimes it can slip so that can also lead to error then if you do not choose a style as appropriately for depending on the requirement of the workpiece and the measurement there can be error in the machining measurement process so it needs expertise to choose the right stylus there can be computational errors also software error in the estimating geometry of workpiece there can be error with the number and relative position of probe the points etc etc there are certain geometric errors also with cmm it is identified that there are 21 sources of errors in cmm kinematic errors 21 uh, sources of error means for one axis itself 
there can be one positional deviation in the direction of motion there can be two linear deviation that is perpendicular to the direction of motion where the straightness arrest there can be three angular deviation for the same axis so like a roll pitch and yo kind of error that means one plus one error here two here one plus two three three plus three six errors in one uh, axis itself like that for three axis uh, sorry here it's uh, okay three uh, three okay six six errors in one axis itself six into three eighteen errors happening in uh, in three axis apart from that there are three other errors also three squareness errors between the pair of axes so there will be 21 errors let us see a few examples of measurements that are done commonly with CMM this is a cantilever uh, CMM that is used for checking the measurement of a cylinder okay you can see that there is a robotic arm kind of CMM that is used for measurement of this object okay continuous probing is done to check the circularity of this okay now gantry type CMM here see a gantry type it is measuring some features of an assembled bike a column type CMM is now used in this diagram to check the dimensions of an assembled cabin of some automobile vehicle there is a twin see twin column CMM automated CMM that is checking whether uh, the dimensions of an assembled car before delivery non-contact probes uh, shown here that verifies the profile of a door of a car okay continuous probing is done the continuous profile is, is done here few examples of companies which are making CM Tessa, Mitutoyo, Helmel, International Metrology Company, Faro, Lates, etc. Few of this, uh, few of the companies that make CM worldwide. Now based on the uh, discussion students will have to go to the learning material that is provided student can post their questions in our academic management system for further discussion 